Marie, and I love nature. You know what I really don't love? Is seeing it messed up with pollution. My biggest problem is plastic. It's everywhere and it's not going away. What I would love to stop is using plastic once and throwing it away. Let's take straws. There are six billion of us people. If we throw straws away every day, that's billions of straws being chucked where? They don't fly off to straw land. They sit on our planet, never breaking down, hurting animals. For what? So we can have help drinking? Here's a great idea. Pick up your glass. You can do it. Yeah, come on. You just picked up your glass. Yeah, come on. Watch her. She just picked up her glass. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Now the big ugly sister of straws is plastic bags. Plastic bags are so destructive and billions of them are used once and then left to blow away. Where to? Clogging up our beautiful world, ending up in our oceans. We all know that turtles think they are jellyfish and eat them. You wouldn't eat a plastic bag. Why make it animals problems? They don't even use bags. Come on, use reusable shopping bags. It's the right thing to do. So, thinking about litter, it all seems to be laziness. The result is so much waste. We are literally trashing our planet, just for some five minute convenience. As the next generation, we have got to get into some clean habits. No more plastic bags, no more straws, no more plastic bottles. This feels much better. Who's with me? My YouTube video focused on three things. No plastic bags, no plastic straws, and no plastic bottles. So, for this talk, I'd also like to focus on three things. Parents, children, and schools. Let's start with parents. Let's face it, without them, there are no children. I'm being brought up in a house cluttered with National Geographics. I'm surrounded by dogs, cats, and even chickens. We only use eco products for all our cleaning. No neon bath bombs in our home. When we go shopping, I'm always running back to the car to get the reusable shopping bags my mom forgot. And straws, forget about it. Every year, we spend a weekend at Green Poppery Forest Fest, planting thousands of trees in the beautiful Plutbus Forest. On Mandela Day, our family does beach cleanups. And this year, we weren't overseas. Nope, not to Disneyland, but to Borneo to see the orangutans and proboscis monkeys in their natural habitats. And that's my dad. No, not the one with the tail, but the one in the canoe. Now, I need to be clear. I love dancing, music, fashion, just as much as any other 10-year-old girl. My parents have just taught me how to do things in a way that cares for our planets. So parents, surround your children with the beauty of nature so that they can grow up to love it and want to protect it. Teach your children about the bad things going on, like single-use plastic, deforestation, warming oceans. Knowledge is power. Then most importantly, live by example. What you do becomes your child's normal. If you use reusable shopping bags, so will they. If you use polystyrene, they will too. And that's my mom planting thousands of trees in the beautiful Plapus Forest. Now, enough about you. Let's talk about me. Two years ago, I was loving watching YouTube videos about children who made edible school supplies and pranked their friends. I chatted with my mom about making my own video. We brainstormed it and decided that the world didn't need another silly YouTube video, but rather we can make something meaningful. Now, she knows how upset it gets about single-use plastic and how it hurts animals. So that became what our video was about. We loved it. So we gave the video to my school principal and asked that he would show it at assembly, which he did. And the response was amazing. My fellow pupils totally got the message and started demanding no stores at the tuck shop. I saw them scolding their moms at the shops about using reusable shopping bags. And in general, there became a better awareness of environmentalism at my school. My principal also sent the video to all the parents at the school. And for months after, I had parents coming to me and saying how it had changed their behavior around plastic. Then it went global. 
My mum got emails from all over South Africa, Japan, America, and even Australia, commenting on how the children related to the simple ideas on not using plastic. Here are some children in Japan watching my video. So children, make movies, dances, art, anything to spread the message about caring for our planets. Help out at the SBCA, plant a tree. You can make huge change, quite simply. Just do something, it feels way better than doing nothing. I'd like to end on schools. I go to school at Darling College. We're a small school in a small town with an even smaller budget. But all the children still bring their recyclable waste to school where it is recycled responsibly. All the lights have been changed to LEDs, solar panels line the roof of the building, and our water is managed very carefully. This is teaching us, the students, that we have to live responsibly on this planet to care for our resources. So schools, you have many young minds spending hours with you each day. Please choose to become examples of environmentally friendly principles. This will sink into each child's mind, and when they grow up, caring for the planet will be their normal. So, I'll end my talk like I ended my YouTube video. Parents, children, and schools, in the commitment to making real change to care for our planet. Who's with me? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Her first time ever in front of the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for her. I know the little village where she comes from, darling. And darling is a really stunning little place. And I love to see how she practically does the things. And you know what I really appreciate most, Ray, is the fact that you decided I'm doing something. <laughs> Just doing something. She started it, she did it. She did this uh, little YouTube video of hers and it went viral, there it goes. And because of that, she's also standing here today. <laughs> Now, do you think the kids in your class is the chance that they're going to start running with you now on these things? I have no idea. Uh, are they better, <laughs> hey? <laughs> yeah, and I'm thinking of her now. Her classmates are watching her, and uh, I wonder what they say. I think if we keep quiet for a second, we will hear them give you a round of applause. Oh, Let's yeah. listen. <laughs> give him that hand. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much. Lovely. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.